What's going on guys? Uh, today I'm checking cameras. I haven't checked them in a few weeks, so I'm excited to see what's on them. I'm looking for two buck in particular. There is one that my dad saw actually about a month ago. He saw a, uh, a buck. It wasn't very tall, but it was out past the ears. So I've been looking for him ever since. Haven't seen him yet. And then I, there was two occasions where I bumped a buck and he was really nice on his left side, it was, I believe. And then on his right side, he was just kind of a little but nonetheless he was he was pretty decent on the one side so i would definitely consider shooting him this year also because that that would be a cool buck to have on the wall you know i got 88 pictures on here actually they're videos hopefully there'll be something really good on here So this area I'm at, I'm at here now is a corner of our pasture and I've had a camera here for years. I always have a camera out here during the summer. Over the years, it's decreased in quality, I should say. Um, there's just the deer, there's not a lot of deer up here anymore. And I don't really know why. Every year there's either corn or beans here. When the corn comes down, deer activity kind of goes up. I'd say the, the most pictures I get up here are in uh, late season, so like January and stuff. I tend to get a lot of buck and late rutting activity coming through this area. I think I might move this camera soon down to an area that we call Death Valley. Um, it's got, it's, there's a, a lot of deer down in that area. And uh, I think I might move it down there. Anyway, we'll check what's on here. Uh, honestly, I never really know what's gonna be on any of my cameras. Oh, 139, okay, yeah. Looks like we're gonna have a lot to go through. Um, something tells me it's just the corn waving in the wind though, so. So I checked those cameras and dude, did you see those buck, man? Oh, that gets me so excited. We had, I think there were like four different buck and that one with huge brow tines. That's got me excited, man. Anyway, right now we are actually moving a tree stand. Uh, we're gonna finagle this tree stand around to the other side of that walnut and then we can, uh, Watch this open area real well. How do you like this spot? This is the best spot yet. Why did we not do this earlier? I have no idea. I can't, I'm Cause so I happy. See, I see deer across there sometimes. So mm -hmm. you can even shoot here. And whenever the stand was over there, always saw the deer out here. And now like standing here, like and you get a bird's eye view of everything. Like this is season, absolute Jake, awesome. In gun season, sometimes you know how the deer will go down there yeah. on that bottom trail. You can shoot right into there. Yeah, and, and even there. archery, if we get anything back in yeah. here, like all this is gonna be gone. Yeah, you, you might even be able to shoot in the back trail back there. Yeah, I'm sure you can. This is gonna be awesome. I mean, this just is like, I mean, right now, the time of day anyway, like even early season, this is what it's gonna look like in early season. Mm -hmm. It looks just like summer. All right, good morning, guys. Uh, so last night we put up this tree stand. I didn't really get to finish showing it off and stuff. So this stand used to be across the creek, <clears throat> probably about, 40, 50 yards. Before we put this stand here, I think it was the season before, my dad shot a buck back there in that spot. Um, but come to think of it, we've never killed a deer out of that stand. I, we've shot at deer. I shot at a buck last year during, in gun season. My brother shot at one in archery season. Um, the first year we have ever had the stand up in that spot, I shot at a buck. So we've shot at deer, but we've never had any real luck so up here in the tree stand we have all these branches coming out giving us a lot of cover and then that branch right there is actually a big help because this one right here we can rest a gun on and then uh, we can screw pegs and stuff there is a peg right there and then a peg there we can screw pegs and stuff there hang our bows and everything is right there in front of us so i'm gonna go up there give you a good look around and i'll show you what we're looking at so we are here in the stand and this is what we're looking at over here so we have this area over here, which we've kicked deer up out multiple times. So deer like to bed in here and uh, deer will travel kind of down along the creek here. What I'm really excited about is a lot of times 
most of the time, actually, the deer come out over there and out in a spot over there. And they all come this way. They all feed this way. So if I'm sitting here and I'm just scanning along and I look over and there's a buck standing right in there. Hopefully, if he doesn't see me, just make his way right over underneath me, right here, 10, 15, 20 yards, and we can just put the hammer down on deer. So I'm super excited about this spot. Um, I've wanted to stand over here for so long. Um, there were a few trees over there that I was thinking about putting the stand in, and then my brother pointed out this tree, and we were like, this is actually going to be a pretty good spot. Originally, we had it facing that way right over here. Yesterday, when we put it up, we wanted it facing that way, um, but it didn't really fit. And then I was like, well, if we have it right here, we have a lot of good cover. Um, I think it's just going to work better. Um, it's just a better spot in general. And I just really like this tree because even right now, with all the leaves on the tree, I can see a lot of directions really far. Um, I can see over here behind me in this open area. I can see 100 yards that way into all that open area. I can see deer coming out. I can see deer all out in front of me here. I can see deer out in the cornfield. And I can only imagine what it's going to be like when leaves and everything comes down and it gets brown and a lot more open. I'm still going to have a lot of cover because of these big branches and stuff, but the deer aren't going to have as much cover. So come gun season, this spot is going to be absolutely lethal. So I am I have very high hopes for this tree stand this year. Given how last year went, all the deer I saw over here, and uh, given what I saw on the trail camera yesterday, we had like four or five shooter buck, and I was just, I'm so excited for this season. So we will see how this year goes. Hopefully it goes better than last year. So I still have a few more plans for tree stands before the uh, beginning of the season. I, uh, I wanna buy two single man ladder stands possibly. I got two spots I wanna put them. And then there's the tree stand that I call the food plot stand that I actually wanna move. So that tree stand has good ladder sticks, but there's no seat. It's just a platform, an old uh, platform from like an old climbing stand. That tree stand, um, I wanna move. We're gonna move that stand. I'm gonna buy a cheap hang on stand and replace that platform. And I think I'm gonna move it to like a, this uh, big draw that we have where this little creek runs. So then we'll have like five or six different tree stand locations. Um, we're doubling down this year. We're gonna get a deer this year. Um, we got so many locations for different wind directions and weather conditions. It should be a good year. So uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in following along and seeing what happens this season, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like. That helps us out the best and comment down below what you think we should do before the beginning of the season. That's it guys, we'll see you in the next one.